My name is Andy Stevenson. Dan Fallows. Mike Craig. Tom McCullough. Professor Lance. Pedro de la Rosa. Professor Alonso here. And now it's time to learn. I'll be checking your homework. The engine, probably. The hottest thing in a Formula One car is uh, probably the engine. The engine gets incredibly hot when we're running the car, so we have to have a very sophisticated cooling system, which doesn't use fans, um, to try and keep the engine in the right temperature, otherwise it would simply get too hot and probably start melting. It's probably the front brakes when the driver hits them really hard at the end of a long straight into a slow corner. Temperatures of well over a, a thousand degrees Celsius. The hottest thing in a Formula One car will be the exhaust. Um, obviously when the, when the engine's running, we're exhausting all the gases through the exhaust system and that, that's basically the burnt fuel. Well, I'd say the coldest thing on a Formula One car is probably the driver. I mean, they absolutely have to stay cool, um, especially under pressure. The coldest thing in a Formula One car is probably the wings. At the start of the race, the coldest thing on a Formula One car is probably the driver's drinks bottle. Before each race, we put up to a litre and a half of fluid in so that the driver can rehydrate, but that will heat up as the race goes on. By the end of the race, it's probably as hot as your average cup of tea. The outside elements of the car that are blown by the wind at the front, I dare say, are probably the coolest. The brakes on, on a Formula One car are designed to operate at a certain temperature, usually around two to three hundred degrees Celsius. If the brakes are cold and not properly warm up, they are simple, in simple terms, not braking. Um, so you need a certain temperature between the carbon friction surfaces uh, to create the right amount of friction. And if this temperature is not there, the friction uh, is not there and the brakes are not, not decelerating. The brakes on a Formula One car are made up of carbon fibre. To get the carbon fibre to actually work correctly as a brake material, as a friction material, we have to heat it um, to in incredibly high heats. And they're probably in the middle of a race as they're, they're braking hard from some of the, the faster long straights, they're hitting the temperature of a thousand degrees. If you then press the brake pedal uh, with cold brakes, the car is just not decelerating and you probably go off. The reason you'll see the drivers heating the tyres by weaving and braking to, to put extra, um, extra force through the tyre is to generate temperature. We need to get the tyre within a working range so that the, the molecules within the rubber start to move around a little bit and this, this then softens the tyre and gives us grip. You have to drive the car fast enough at a certain speed to, to get the tyres up to temperature and get the car working properly. Training is a phenomenon where the tyre is losing integrity on the surface and the rubber is too cold to uh, be able to adhere to the track. So it is peeling off, that's why we call it graining. As a race driver you need to always know exactly the temperature of the tyre you're running and the target of that tyre, the temperature target, and then try to drive accordingly to make sure that the fronts and the rears have the right split and are in the right window of operation. Formula 1 tyre warmers uh, from a regulation side are limited to 70 degrees Celsius this year. Um, in previous years we were um, over 100 degrees. When the car goes out on track, the tyre is almost at its, its optimum working temperature. We've got to put another 20, 30 degrees in it to enable it to reach that, but the driver can achieve that quite quickly. We don't feel the heat uh, from the car when we are seated on, on the cockpit, unless there is something that is not perfectly sealed or something. I, I remember one race a few years ago that we have one radiator pipe that it was not fully connected and it was just pointed to the seat. And obviously after 10 laps you, uh, you can feel that there is something wrong. It gets pretty, pretty warm in there sometimes during the hotter races. It gets warm under, under my bum. Homework is you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. You've been great students. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.